Yo, 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 what is up everyone? We are playing Golden Prelude. I have Story Champion. I'm going to click Story Champion. The thing is, it's one cost Exalted. So it does mean I don't get to make use of the Exalted. But honestly, do I mind? Not really. I feel like Story Champion is Story Champion. I will not falter. I'm in. I'm the hero augment guy today. I'm not going to play Exalted. I'm just going to play Story Champ and hope no one else clicked it. Because I've just clicked it without scouting once. <laughs> uh, let's sell all. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, I kind of want to reforge the rod, but... It's like I might get a slammable Garen item. Anyone? Any thoughts on reforging the rod? Points. Nice! How lovely! You guys know that one? Go on. Who is it, chat? Who is how lovely? <laughs> now I gotta look up champ quotes and we can play. Guess the champ quote. YouTube frogs, you can play along. Okay, I got another one. Spring awaits! <laughs> I need Garen's. Garen's. Jax. No one? No one knows that one? Come on, chat. You're all a bunch of League players, surely. I mean, literally, these guys are just playing 5 Exalted, and I'm sitting here thinking they're making 2 gold a turn on me. Is it a British, British thing? No, it's a League of Legends champ quote. My one and only story giant, giant game also had someone else playing it. That is rough. I mean, honestly, mine's not great. Like, this is not a great spot to play story champ just because it's one cost exalted. But honestly, like, maybe when I hit the... After I hit Garen, I can play the exalted to go up, I'm thinking. Maybe I can put in five exalted after. That's my fifth exalted. So these guys are my all of my exalted units. Thing is, I kind of want the Sivia, right? Where the trouble is. Maybe it's something like this. Sivia Ari. Okay, I don't really need to hold the exalted units if we, if you actually think about it. If you actually think about it, I don't need to hold the exalted units. Because I'm going to roll. And neutrals anyway. And I can't play Exalted because I don't want XP. How lovely. How lovely is Jin? How lovely. And um, Suffering Await is Vega. Don't sell the core. That's kind of genius. That's kind of genius. I'm in for that. I'm in. I'm sold. Okay, I need to rewire my brain on this one though. What you got? Ooh! Honestly, this is pretty good for me. Like, Story Weaver Spy is crazy. Uh, I think I'm meant to take E4, to be honest, over BT, but I'm gonna take BT. I'm actually gonna take Story Weaver Spy. Because the, the outs on this are both Sword and MR, and I don't need to slam because I lost a round. Okay, the explanation is this can be BT or or D claw. So at Krugs I can hit Sword or MR. Whereas the only thing I can hit to get out of um wait, let me put let me put the exalted in before I keep yapping. Any other exalted? No. Um so 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 but the only only one component is my out for Story Weaver. So two components are my out for this, one component is my out for this. And on the even better side, if I get another MR or sword, like on top, if I get two swords, it's really awkward. But if I get another chain on top of this, say, say I take Sword of Carousel and then I get Sword of Mutuals, it's a bit awkward. If I get another chain of Carousel, it's a Tynan's component, so it's pretty good. We're generally pretty happy. Okay, do not sell the Exalted Core. 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 
You know what? Sell the exotic core. Do not sell the exotic core. I'm gonna put it in between my garins because there's no way I'll sell it then. There's genuinely no way. Surely not. Even I, even me myself, surely will not fall for this. I mean, I could slam Story Weaver Spat now. There's really no reason not to, right? Agreed. I mean, there is. I guess they, I get 20 armor. I get 20 armor. That's not bad. I guess I could have saved it to see who that I who I slam it on. I make 40 here by winning. It's like plus one gold. Plus one gold to this round. Not plus one next round, but it's fine. I'm down to take the plus one gold this round. Because then maybe I keep I win streak after neutrals if I hit the Garen 3. Garen 3, Garen 3. I want myself a Garen 3. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Anyone else rerolling one cost? Like, is there a Kabuko no Hero guy? Blaze! <laughs> Okay, high key. Everyone's got one cost because it's one cost exalted, and there's only three Garens out of the pool. It's not that bad. It's genuinely not that bad. It's doable. It could have been so bad because it's one cost exalted, and everyone's just holding Garens, but thankfully it's not that bad. Make battle brew. PT. It worked, team. My genius plan worked. Please, please, please. Nice. More. I want more. Nice. More. <laughs> please. Ah. Please. I think I'm done. And we, we just sell this. Go up a level now. So we can put something in. Nice. Oh, and the Exalted Core, man, I didn't have to pump four. I just get to play this round on level five. I like it. I'm down for Archangel's last item if it comes to it. I would probably prefer another Titans, because Archangel's is better with Declaw, but it's okay. Genius mode. Is that something I can play instead of Kabuko? <laughs> as much as I love this guy, maybe Darius. Let's get Irelia leader. Is Final Ascension crazy? Think about it, think about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm actually gonna check. I'm going stat hunting. Storied champion. Final Ascension. It's good. It's good. Edge fund? Surely not. Okay, I mean, like, yes, Darius, but also not Darius. Okay, but if I'm final ascension, does that mean I should go six warden instead? Maybe I can go four warden, seven story weaver. What level is that? Level nine? That's not bad. That is actually doable. Yeah, I very much would like two more Garens. Not hitting Garen 3 here is a bit awkward. It's okay though. We're getting there, we're getting there. Man used to play some Val with us after stream, but now he's got the big stream attitude. I do love a bit of Valorant too. I just don't play anymore. I just don't play much Val anymore. I, I do use... Well, I used to love a bit of Valorant. Now a little less so. Oh, this is good for me. Oh, Zoe's also really good for me. Let me think.
Level 7 already. Yeah, that guy's pretty strong. I mean, I could drop Exalted and save some HP. Kind of down for that. Time to drop Exalted and save some HP. I was kidding them out, I know, don't worry. <laughs> I didn't play anymore either, that's fair. All my friends are on the Track Mania grind, what's Track Mania? Haven't heard of it. Any good? Okay, KL ult, kill Shannon one shot. Agreed. Agreed. One shot! Okay, it wasn't a one shot. Um, I like Archangels here. There is no Archangels. I like Bow here. Let's go Bow. Titan's component and maybe Red Buff component if I hit Archangels. If I help hit Bow plus Armor, then I can go like Morello Titans. If I hit like Tia plus Bow, then I can go Archangels Red Buff. It's like a racing speedrun game, that sounds fun. Oof! Galio. Chill, bro. Zyra, too. I mean, I can play 7 Story Weaver if I get to level 7. <laughs> um, I need to hit the Garens and then we're fine. And Nul goes in like much later, but I can hold him for now. Yeah, I mean, as long as we hit our Garen's, we're okay. Let's just find this Garen 3 and then we're chilling. Everything else is really good. Like, we've, we've hit a lot of good unit. I mean, the Galio is a bit of overkill, to be honest. Unnecessary. Okay, high key, my Garen does not feel that strong. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe he needs 4 Warden, 6 Warden. Maybe I'm gonna have to go. Maybe I'm gonna have to go six warden. Honestly. But I have Story Weaver plus one. Like I think it's actually fine. I just think Garen 3, honestly. I think that's the biggest biggest difference maker here. I go where the trouble is. Nice, one more. Nice! Big hit. Honestly huge. Down to sack one more. And level after this. Hog champ. Hog champ. Hoggers. Hoggy woggy. Okay, I need Galio in. Sibia in. I mean, no. Uh, this in. I'm just gonna have seven story weaver. That just that can't be bad, right? That sounds amazing to me. That sounds amazing to me. I just need something that makes my team tanky. I need like really good frontline items on Galio when we're chilling. Like you know what I mean? He just doesn't feel that tanky. It's a great win. Nice win team. I guess once I get 9 with chilling, this game is looking good. Yes sir! Yes sir, yes sir. Tasman next round would be lovely. Or oh, innovating locket. Holy schmoly. Oh, just because of that, I'm going to click the one handle if it's there. <laughs> if it's an option, we're clicking it. Seven Story Weaver next turn as well. Lovely, lovely. You do, in fact, love to see it. I mean, honestly, Kale should be middle. Actually, no, I want my Shred to hit the same unit as Garen, but, like, the Kale AoE is so important. Revive or damage Kale? It's definitely going to be damage. I say definitely, only purely because I don't even know what it would look like if I had Revive Kale, reviving the Scarin. Nice, really good items too. Chroma Power. You are Irelia. Agreed. Agreed. You are Garen. Agreed. Well, 
This is it, team. It looks pretty good to me. I looked away for a second and we got two la last two Garens and still 50 gold. Pogs. Yeah, that is huge. Or it was huge. It was in fact huge. Next unit's probably just Altruist or something. And then we'll go for Warden level 9. Gargantuan's incoming. Holy! Actually, there's a lot of good elements I can hit. Now that I've slammed this Titan's Garen, I don't take the Forge anymore. I have Anti-Heal. I have Shred. I'm good to go, team. I'm good to go. I'm up and running. The comp is online. Comp is online. Alright, let's, let's throw in a champ quote. I'm thinking... Let me Google this champ. Armed and ready! Anyone know that one? That one's obvious. Come on, team. Uh, best friends. Best friends pretty good. Unified. Teemo, let's go! I'll just take Unified here. <laughs> Teemo was my favorite champ when I first started playing League. Then I moved away from him, but he's still got a, a special place in my heart. That voice wants me. I understand that. Okay, I'm in a level 4-5. I'm going to put Nautilus in and then I'm going to Econ till 9. Honestly, just having a Nautilus stun is pretty good. Okay, this guy rolled 0 and didn't find a cane. We're in the money. <laughs> We're in the money. Give me this guy. Give me this guy. No. No. This guy's like Syndra. Okay, this guy... <laughs> Okay, no, he's level 850. I was gonna say, this guy rolled zero and didn't find uh, Sivia, but... Nope, he's just level 850 gold. Five Exalted still in. Five Exalted still in, by the way. This guy's a beast. He's just making XP, 2XP a turn. Anyone else running that still? No, no one else. Just this guy's rushing the fastest nine of his life. That's actually crazy, by the way. So he's just going the fastest night of his life. And then he has the Dryad spat, he's got the Orn, he's got the Azir. Like, he's just 6 Dryad instantly. It's just the fast- with a spare dupe, with a dupe to spare, like... The guy's just going the fastest night of his life. He found Orn from Pick Up The Litter, I'm convinced. There's no way he didn't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wait, am I still- one, more round, one round remaining. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is such a good augment. Tiny but deadly. Oh, wait. He's too healthy, though. Oh, I thought he was playing Senna. I don't think it's that good for him any on this comp. I think it's still good, but not as good as it is in the Senna comp. Tiny but deadly too healthy is like Senna Biss. Like, I'm surprised this guy didn't force Senna from that spot. It's so disgustingly good on that comp. Like, Tiny But Deadly Center is just the most... Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's definitely, in my opinion, her best augment. I don't know stats-wise, but just from playing it, it just feels so, so OP. Yeah, I'm going towards Irelia Full Warden, so I need to take Irelia items here. Anyone know if they fixed the IE Irelia thing? Anyone know that? Like, surely they fixed it, because that was, like, ages and ages ago. Now he found Lee, but sold for 8G Trust. Then found W Orn Shop. I'm not really trusting that. <laughs> yeah, anyone know if they fixed the the, the crit Irelia thing? They did 99% sure. Let's go. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's huge. Huge for the team. Huge for the team. A while ago, yeah, it's fixed. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm down selling Mumu if we win. I'm gonna find a uh, warden later anyway. Oh, dude, he has no cane. <laughs> he still has no cane. It's so sad. Do you, I, I like playing this comp? He's just zero gold every turn, by the way. Like he's roll. He has to roll every turn. Playing this comp with no cane is rough. Like, he has such good augments as well. Like, he's nearly winning with the Kha'Zix as his carry, you know what I mean? 
Like, he has such good augments. Reaper plus one. Like, three Edge of Knights with Edge of Knight. Double Hodge, Unified. Like, all really good augments. It's all the movement time. <laughs> plus five gold from that cell, by the way. One from Econ last turn, and I made Econ this turn. So that's two from Econ and, and one off of Mumu. Trickle down economics. Okay, what are we looking for? I mean, honestly, we, we just want to be opposite side of Shan. Actually, Galio's taunting Shan. Like, Shan will hit, even if he goes right side, Shan hits. He's gonna go right side, by the way. Yeah. But Shan hits Alawi, and then Galio taunts, so my Garen survives a little longer. Got a chance. Yo, Luxon with the sub! Thank you so much, Luxon. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate ya. Okay, my guy's about to get one tapped. No joke. It's game over for a guy like me. Oh! Wait. Wait. Hail ult. One shot. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, but like. Actually, close. Actually, close. That's winnable. That's winnable. Full win win and winnable. Thank you so much, Lucen. I really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. We're going nine. We're going nine. It's happening. And then we just reroll this comp and this becomes set. Set. And we look for Irelia. Uh, no, not Riven. Snapshot confirmed set Irelia. Drop Sylvia. I mean, honestly, I can probably go 10 as well. Oh, two is big. I'll wait one turn and then level. Because I cannot afford it. GS or Deathblade, I guess. Wait, they fixed IE though. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to stat check Irelia. Uh, best adjusted place item. GS. Deathblade IE. Deathblade it is. Yeah, I definitely fake stat check there because, like, that's considering how, like, three item Irelia. It's fixed. It's definitely fixed. The stats say it's fixed. It's, like, one of her best items. Do I win this? No, I don't. Okay, honestly, I'm just wrong side for this guy. It's my own fault. This bazooka guy is so strong. Oh, he's five dryad. No kindred. Interesting. Wait, he's losing? Oh gosh. I mean, he's definitely gonna start winning. Actually, can Azzy even deal with me? Definitely lock it. Aiki, I'm a bit of a problem. I, I don't know if Azzy can deal with me. I have a bit of a problem. Let me scout. Right side. I mean, left side. Left side. Okay, perfect. Just stay away from the Lissandra Garen. That's all you gotta do. Let's tear this guy. Make sure he casts. Dude, that Azzy is so strong though. Good cast. Okay, Garen, we need you to cast on this. One shot! No! It's not a one shot! That's an absolute disaster, but never mind. I I Azzy doesn't do enough damage. That's the thing. But Azzy just doesn't do enough damage. He's not that guy. This guy's five ones while duping. We're just looking for that Irelia now. Well, that's set. I'm gonna swap sides and then swap back, probably. Drop loss and Nico. That is pretty scary, honestly. I mean, I think he's gonna swap back, to be honest. He's almost definitely swapping back. 
Okay, we got a chance to wrap here. If we can get on the Lilia, we're we're kind of good. Oh, I'm not wrapping. Ain't no way. Overtime Garen though. One shot. Nice. Big overtime. That's the final ascension. The final show. I was gonna say ascension and then I was gonna say showdown. Then I kind of just merged the two. MB. MB. Warwick question. Smack, Neon, or Caspar? <laughs> Honestly, I did not go out much. I did not leave my room often. If I had to pick one... Oh, I don't know. Probably Neon. I'm pretty sure that one was pretty shoddy though. Okay, Story with a spat's pretty good for me. It's not bad. It's not bad. They were all shoddy true. I feel like Neon was the most popular at least. Okay, I can get another warden in. I mean, I want to keep 7 Story Weaver. Did this guy hit Kindred yet? He still hasn't hit Kindred. Poor guy. I mean, it's really rough for him. Okay, so this is in. Story Weaver spat. And then this is Irelia. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, maybe I was meant to go 10 and not roll for Irelia. I don't think I'm even that much stronger on Irelia. To be honest. Like, it's not even a huge spike, so I probably was not never meant to roll here. I was probably meant to go 10. Okay, I gotta think more, man. I think I do this too often, where I'm, like, stuck on a level where I shouldn't actually be stuck on. Too often, too often. No way Bazooka lost from the best spot I've ever seen. Poor guy just did not hit a kindred. That was honestly one of the most insane spots ever. Poor guy. With the dupe too. Like he was chilling. Yeah, maybe we can force go nine. Especially now. But the Nord too. Need to care for the Shen. Nice try, guys. Yeah, I'm opposite side Shen. It's kind of good. I mean, his front line is very weak. It's very weak. 0 one, 1. Fresh 2. No! Dude, he's just that guy, man. He is really just that guy. He's just that guy. Why put Bramble on Shen carry? Because his ult scales off armor. The damage scales off armor. So having more armor means that Shen ult does more damage. So this guy's ult is doing a tremendous amount of damage. Especially because of Behemoth and Exalted. I love this. Putting Exalted into you. For the bonus damage for Shen ult. Like that Shen ult is doing damage. That's such a, like, my augments are so good. I feel like this should be first of all. Maybe if we hit Irelia. Galia 2 would be nice as well. Oh, I see. It was probably if I go 9, it was probably first of all. Hodge, I imagine. Hi, Uwu, XD, Raw, X3, Meow, Sub. Nice combo you got there. You got me with that. Oops, oops. Thank you. Thank you very much, 999. I appreciate the prime. Thank you for the primer. Thank you for the juicer. The little rejuicer. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Does this guy stand a chance into me? With his... Silas build? I mean, honestly, I don't think he does. Like, the Kaiser does damage, don't get me wrong. 
but then I do more. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, Kel hit the, the akimbo. One left, one right. One, two, left, right. One, two, Mayweather. Okay. I mean, honestly, if we get up, we can drop Strack and play Six Warden. That's like my, that's my, my big idea. That's as good as it gets in my head. Thoughts, team? Pretend we're this side and then go back. In 150 games I played, I never got the Garen Hero Augment. That is sad. It's a good experience. It is a good experience. Oh, Kane onto the Garen. It might be good for him. Honestly, my Kale's got such a good ult here. No, Nico moved, dude. Nico, what the heck? Oh, boom! What an ult, though. That's the ult I'm talking about. Oh! Nice. Big, 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 big. In fact, huge. And I think we're going nine team. We have to win one of the next two. The next three. One of the next three means we can go nine. And honestly, like, I should actually buy this Amumu. That is the crazy thing. I should probably buy the... Wait. Okay, team. Thoughts on full Warden, but we tech Lissandra in. Because if she ults the Shen when he's last alive, it's just... It's one. Thoughts on teching Lissandra in here. I'm in. I don't make the rules. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can she do it? One Lissandra and a dream. Okay, first ult out the way. That's fine. But we're getting to the second ult now. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. We are getting there. She's gone. My Kale ult missed, dude. Dude. Boom, boom. The second ult didn't hit. The second ult didn't hit. The second ult didn't hit. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Redemption? Probably. Isn't it just this? The second ult didn't hit. Imagine if I had Soraka in though. I would have survived long enough. Um, I'm pretty sure this gets tapped. <laughs> you might have been right about that one. You may have, in fact, been right about that one. Right, Serac is going back in. I, <laughs> I actually would have won. Like, no joke. I would have won. It is what it is. I need to win one. I need to win one of the next two. I'm down for Ghost here. I'm down to play as Ghost. We play as Ghost and call it a day. I'm in. Nice. Now we call it a day by winning. Wait, is he 10 mythic? He's 8. Oh, he's going 10. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Panic by bards. Panic by bards. Okay. Ah! Okay. Can we get rid of Never mind. 64. 64, 64, 64, Zulane. Yeah, we can get redemption online. I'm, I'm agreeing to that. I mean, Nah comes back, right? Honestly, probably. Level 10. No! I think this is bad. I think this is bad. My Kale did not go where I wanted her to go. Honestly, I kind of threw it. Oh! Don't get one tapped. Okay. I mean, honestly, if this Kale will actually hit Shen, I'm just not going to Kale all in time. It's a third. It's a third. I'll take a third. I'll take a third. It is what it is. Honestly, this guy's going 10 mythic anyway, so I never beat this guy. I definitely 
think I could have beaten the Shen. I think there's a chance. With better positioning, probably. So, like, maximum second, because I never beat 10 Mythic, but, like, honestly, maybe, maybe, maybe a second. We, we take it, we take it, we take it. GG, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far. Thank you.